Chelsea's final home game of 2023 sees one of their favourite opponents visit Stamford Bridge. Crystal Palace arrive in West London looking to arrest one of the worst records against an opponent in Premier League history. The Eagles have been beaten in their last 11 league encounters against the Blues. It's their longest losing streak against any opponent in their league history. Chelsea make five changes to the side that started at Wolves. Moises Caicedo returns from illness. Benoit Badia, Shiel and Mikhailo Mudrik come in. Ian Matson starts a Premier League game for the first time. And Christopher Nkunku makes his full Blues debut. Thiago Silva and Armando Breuer move to the bench. Leslie Ugachukwu is injured and Cole Palmer and Raheem Sterling suspended. Palace make just the one change to the side which drew one all with Brighton in their last match. Will Hughes drops to the bench. He's replaced by Eberichi Eze. Dean Henderson continues in goal with Sam Johnston injured. Jean-Philippe Mateta leads the line. He's got two goals in his last three games. Mudrick with his space room to run into here. Can he pick the pass? Oh, he's threaded one through for Ian Matson. Got the touch on it. Didn't have quite enough to carry in. Wonderfully weighted pass that from Mikhailo Mudrick. And Matson so close to a first Chelsea goal. That's terrific from Mudrick. Absolutely magic. That was first class. The weight of the pass as well. Just unfortunately, Matson get, didn't get enough purchase really on his finish. Gusto, oh, that's brilliant. Plenty of options ahead of him. Oh, and a stumble from Klein. Meant the ball worked its way to Nkunku, not once but twice. This is Malo Gusto. That's Mikhailo Mudrik. It's 1-0 Chelsea. Excellent stuff from Gusto. And Mudrik had the simple task of tapping in. He's scored in back-to-back -back games at Stamford Bridge now, Mikhailo Mudrik. But that was all about attacking with Gusto. Yeah, loads to admire about that goal. I think it all starts with the setup, really, building in that back three. Levi Colwell tucking round and Gusto taking a really high starting position. Matson coming in field, and it's an exchange over on the far side that makes it. That little turn from Gusto was absolutely wonderful stuff. Then he's bearing down on the back four, gets a little bit fortuitous with that pass, and Cuckoo tidies that up. Brilliant play from him, the weight on the pass, and then. So many options to hit in the 18-yard box. Nice weight on that from Nkunku. And look at the options inside. Mudrik applies the perfect finish. Four goals for the season now for Mikhailo Mudrik. They've all come in London. I see that. Oh, lovely flick into Mudrik from Jackson. Mudrik for his second. Great save, Anderson. Out quickly to smother the angle. Not much more Mudrik could have done then, I don't think. Wonderful little touch from Nicholas Jackson to put him in. A brilliant play again. Mudrick and Jackson combining. And I think that Henderson does really well just to stay big, stay up. I think he actually preempts the dink. Mitchell will send it in. That break for Klein. Hacked away by Gallagher. Oh, Anderson made a mess of that. Here's Jackson. Got to try and do it himself here. Brilliant strength. Can he play in Nkunku? He has. It's Christopher Nkunku. Oh, did he have his leg taken there? As he was drawing back for the shot. Chelsea appeal. I'm not quite sure how else he could have fallen like that, unless there was contact on him. Yeah, we see this a lot, don't we? It's whether it's just a bit of an air shot. He kicks the covering. Crystal Palace midfielder Richards. I don't think that can be a penalty. What this is, though, is just outstanding strength from Jackson and in the end the perfectly weighted pass and Kunku takes the touch and he kicks Richards leg I'm not sure the covering midfielder can do anything about that and Kunku that's a nice switch out to Gusto can he get there not an easy one to control he's done really well Malo Gusto this is Ian Matson, and he's going for goal it was deflected on its way behind Oh, brilliant stuff. Gives Chelsea just a different dimension, having Nkunku able to get turned in the middle of the pitch and supply a pass. With a bit of pressure from Gay, just stopping that from uh, troubling Henderson. Eddie Sheel emerging with the ball. 
cruncher of a tackle from Chris Richards. Clipped in by Ayu. Oh, here's Elise. Time to bring it down and bang it in for 1 1. Had to be Michael Elise, didn't it? Chelsea have done so well in the first half here. It's the first real shot of Petrovic's goal, and Michael Elise makes it 1 1. It comes courtesy of that crunching challenge from Richards as the ball broke free for a moment. He committed, took a risk. And absolutely thundered into the challenge. I don't think it's a foul. Then what comes next is just a brilliant delivery from left to right. Cushions it and volleys, half volleys, instinctive finish. Modric can have a run at Nathaniel Klein. He went to ground and won it cleanly. Mateta's managed to roll back to shield. Are you trying to get up in support? Mateta alone for now. Petrovic had to make a smart stop at his near post. Yeah, that's a good save. He fashions a really good strike from a tight angle on the right-hand side. Badia Shiel just getting into a physical battle with him, and Mateta rolls him quite comfortably, lacking in support. Gallagher, was the ball on here? This is the chance, and then, oh my goodness me, it's gone wide from Nicholas Jackson. And he doesn't know how, and neither do 40,000 others in the stadium. We had to wait, we had to work so hard for that opening, and it comes courtesy of a lovely little move down the spine of Crystal Palace. Gallagher waits the pass perfectly. I'm not sure it even needs to be dinked. Can that be just slipped down the side of Henderson? I think it can. Lavia, Silva, he can cross from deep. Oh, deflection took it nicely for Jackson! And he stuck this one away! And Chelsea have the lead again! Nicholas Jackson stabs it in! The delivery from either flank gets the deflection, then it turns into the perfect pass. Oh, it's tight. It's really tight. I'm not so sure he's onside when that's played in from Silva. It gets that deflection, which turns it into a beautiful ball. Drops perfectly, but I tell you what, he steers that in on the half volley. It's a little bit unorthodox. Goes with his right foot, but just stabs it and gets enough of the right contact to take it. Kind of dribbling into the near corner. And it is going to be disallowed. What a shame for Nicholas Jackson. Chelsea will have to try again. Oh, Thiago Silva had to get that and he hasn't. Here's Schlupp. Mateta ahead of him, but again, Elise's the man in space. It's Michael Elise. Blocked first time and then saved by Petrovic. Yeah, big problems there as soon as Thiago Silva missed the clearance. I think maybe Elise would have been better suited just shifting that on first time. There was a man over, Lerma, I think it was, that was joining in. In the end, opts to take it on, but Petrovic always going to be favourite from that angle. Silva. Looking for the run of Breuer, has he timed it right? Can he bring it down? Yes, he can. Can he get the shot away? Oh, into the side netting. Might not have mattered. Brilliant bit of play. Fantastic movement. Lovely pass, angled ball from Thiago Silva, the touch immaculate. And then at this stage, yeah, the covering defenders get in there, Klein, the angles against Breuer does well, actually, to... Get that almost onto the target. Brilliant movement, though. Gallagher to take. This is he was in there. Might come for Jackson. Or maybe Madweke. There's his challenge. My goodness me. That's going to be looked at again. But meanwhile, four Palace players screaming forward. One of them is Ezra. Here he is up to the edge of the box. On he goes, trying to dance his way through. Gusto should be able to get this away. Got to be a check going on now. That looked like a foul on Noni Madueke from Eberiche Eza. I think it's more of a penalty. I was waiting to see if Madueke was on the way down. I don't think he is. He's going to go and have a look. And we know what that means more often than not. Looks a penalty from up here. And it is going to be a penalty for Chelsea. Henderson making himself big. big. Madueke for his first Premier League goal of the season. No problem, Noni Madweke for Chelsea. 
They've got their lead back, Leyson. Cool as you like from Madweke. Chelsea 2, Palace 1. Well done. Since he's come on, he's had a really good impact tonight, and I think he's shown the last few fleeting appearances that he's been back at it. Great confident penalty. We're in no rush to get the ball away from where it is, and that's a Chelsea ball as well. There's the final whistle. Chelsea have won it. Noni Madwake, the hero late on for Maurizio Pochettino's team. They led early on through Mikhailo Mudrik. Elise equalised on the stroke of half-time, but in the final minute of regulation time, Madweke stepped up when it mattered. He'd won the penalty, he converted it to, and Chelsea end 2023 at Stamford Bridge with a win. A really good competitive London derby under the footlights just after Christmas. Madweke, the main man tonight. Final score, Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace 1.